Okay, so 17 took a really long time. I thought I'd do a separate video here for 18 and maybe throw 19 in here as well. Now, number 18 is asking you for the perimeter of the shaded region, what we have there in red. So what we need to realize right here, guys, is that there are really three pieces here, or three, three lengths that we need to come up with here for perimeter. We already found in the last problem the measure of this arc out here, PQ, and we also need to know RQ and RP. Well, let me actually start with those last two. RQ and RP are both radii of a circle, and we found a while ago here that the radius of this circle was going to be 9.70. So I know that RQ here has a length of 9.70, and I know that RP has to have the exact same length of 9.70. And the whole point of problem number 17 is that we finally found that the length of PQ here was 11.34 inches. So PQ is 11.34, and that's what we need here, guys. So for 18, our perimeter is going to be the 11.34 that we came up with for the measure of the arc, and I'm going to add to that the two radii. So I'm going to multiply 2 times a 9.70, and there's the three things that we needed, the one arc length and the two radii right there. So let me go to my calculator, and I think at some point I can use the 11.34 from my last answer. So I'm going to take my last answer and add to that, whoop, 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 there we go, and add to that, there we go, 2 times the 9.70 that we were coming up with for our radius, and that gets me an answer here of 30.74 for the perimeter of the shaded region. So 30.74, and again, everything here was being measured in inches, and that's the answer to 18. 19 is asking us now for the perimeter of the unshaded region. So the unshaded region is going to use the same two radii right here as the shaded region did, but now it's going to use this arc right here on the outside. Okay, so to fill, it looks like Pac-Man, doesn't it? All right, so here's what we know, guys. Uh, we know that in that shaded region, the measure of arc PQ was 11.34 inches. Let me write that right there. What I think we're going to need to find, here's probably the way that I would do it. The circumference of this circle, um, I don't think is something we found yet. It shouldn't be too tough. It's 2 times pi times a radius of, I believe that was 9.70. Let me just double check that, and it was. So 9.70. So I'm going to go to my calculator and just type all that in. All right, here we go. So 2 times pi multiplied by your radius of 9.70, and that's going to get us a circumference now of 60.95. So let me write that down here. Circumference is 60.95. Um, this arc over here we knew was 11.34. So if I want to find the length of this arc over here, uh, this component of it out here, everybody. Well, the whole circle is 60.95. If we take the entire circumference, 60.95, and subtract the little arc right here that we don't want, the 11.34, that'll then tell us the measure of this arc out here that we do want. So the 60.95 that we had right there minus the 11, oop, 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 I forgot to hit answer right here. This calculator doesn't work that way. That minus the 11.34 that we don't want gives us 49.61 for the arc that we do want here. 49.61. Okay, and if we're trying to find perimeter of the unshaded region, that is going to be this arc, or excuse me, this radius right here of 9.70, this radius of 9.70, and this arc out here of 49.61. So my perimeter now is the arc, 49.61, plus 2 radii at 9.70 each. So let's see what we've got here, guys. 49.6, dang it. Here we go. Nope, wrong one again. Calculator, here we go. So 49.61 is my last answer, and I'm going to add to that 2 
times the 9.70 that we've been using for our radius, and that should get us 69.01, I guess, uh, if we were rounding that to the nearest hundredth there. So a 69.01 inches for the measure, excuse me, for the perimeter of the unshaded region. And that's a wrap then on number 19.